So good morning. Uh, just started my walk with Lola. I always start off with the lead along the road, and I'm letting her off the lead. And there she goes. She's off again. And um, been doing this for a week now, and I've done a load of videos. And um, you can judge for yourself if what we're doing actually works. It's a beautiful morning. There's been a bit of a change in some lousy weather but you'll see that in the videos what I'm going to do is take the clip I'm doing videos the other day and um, I'm going to put them together and you can see whether you, you think there's any progress now we're just watching the dog run off she's chasing sparrows or something load up hit go go so definitely got better control of the dog go go and uh Dog's always most excited as soon as she comes out, which is just what we've done. And as you see, I mean, she's chasing the birds there, which is nothing, but she comes back pretty much instantaneous at that distance now. Um, and just all rewarding the dogs for coming. And it's just the same, same old, same old, doing the same thing. Um, and as I say, what we've done is um, been doing videos all week. And we're going to clip those together and you can see the progress, whether you think there's any progress or whether you think it's all a total waste of time. So just out walking with the dogs now, uh, I've got Dolly again and I've got Lola. And just see the improvement if things are moving on a few days later, how we're working and everything else. Here we go Lola, in. And I'm keeping her back. Lola. Uh, because I can't see that far, and I don't know what's out there, so you don't let your dog go if you don't see, haven't got that clear division. Uh, that's what it should be, I still want the dog to be down there exploring, I don't want to be hard on the dog, I want her to enjoy herself. Um, but I have to keep that level of excitement level down, and be able to recognise when it starts to rise, so I can call her in. And we have a nice safe walk and that's called capping I'm just capping that level Lola in go go and um, keeping her in and not allowing that excitement level to rise because the trouble is, is, is excitement levels in dogs they vary they do vary from dog to dog and um, the working Lions will tell you, and I think they're probably quite right on that. Um, that's all about genetics. Uh, the, the excitement levels do vary in dogs, and um, you have certain lines, especially the working lines, where they, they specialize in high drive dogs, instantaneous reactions, because that's what the challenge is in that respect. This is a family pet. Whilst I want her to be a dog, I want her to be in control. I want the um, level of excitement. Lola! Lola! In. I want that level of excitement to take longer, it take it longer for her to be excited. That the build up for that excitement level is more measured pace than instantaneous. Because I don't want her to be chasing off, I don't want that high prey drive in the dog. And it's just a case of capping it, but I still want her to have a good experience, to enjoy herself and to use that, <laughs> what she is. See, we want an awful lot from our dogs. I want the dog to be a dog. I want her to act and react, interact with things, and to utilize all those senses that she has, and I just want to control it all at the same time. There's a lot of masking from, from a young dog. Good girl, good girl. And she's looking at me far more than she did the other day. So it doesn't actually take long, um, but it does, Lola, 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 here we go. Lola, in. Lola. Good girl. Okay, in. Lola. Good girl. So I'm not going to put her on the lead. Just keep her in and hopefully she'll stay in. Lola, Lola. Good girl. Lola. Lola. In. L Lola. Oh. Good girl. Right. It's a, tremendously exciting that little area over there but there are deer over there. Ah uh ah -uh, Lola come here. 
Good girl. Uh, uh, Lola. Slowly, slowly. And it's about here. This is the area we lost her, where she disappeared. And just about got gain control, and then we lost her again. And there's Lola. Lola. And I'm about to lose her again. Good girl, good girl. Oh, Lola. Here we go. Ed. Lola. There we go. Ed. Good girl, good girl. In. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Lola. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Good girl. Stay with me. Stay with me. Good girl. Right, we're going a little bit further up. As, as I say, the visibility is virtually zero, so I'm having to keep her close in. And you can see her uh, um, excitement level is palpably rising all the time. And it's just about seeing it, bring her in, and get that excitement level back down to a level that we can control. Because once it gets too high, you can't control it. We've gone past her threshold. So a quick progress report on our little bundle of joy, Lola. Good girl. And uh, again, as you can see, she's staying closer. This is the treat. Still has that um, her nose down. That's an indication that she's got some sort of prey drive there. And still working on that. As you can see, again, she's staying a lot closer, she's not just shooting up. And that's her choice, it's not because we have pulled her back now. She's starting to relax with it. As I said, we've extended that pressure. It's still a very, very happy dog. She's getting what she needs out of life. And in essence, what we're doing is, um, we had a dog, potential for a, a prey drive that's going to take over and what we've done is just worked on it extended those uh, boundaries as I've said before and if you imagine um, a light switch you've got two choices you've got a light switch that is what's the word um, on a timer and you've got the light switch which you switch on and off what I want is the light switch that I can switch on and off. At the moment, what we're developing and getting a little bit of control of, we have a light switch on a timer. Load up! And, um, good girl. Which means that when I see something, I have a short time to react. Load up! Uh, close contact, close call very very quick on the comeback now still not quite there at a further distance and I, I believe we should be training our dogs breed specific and this I think is breed specific for the dog and uh, we'll be off to show with her soon and uh, we'll see how she is in the show ring she's already been to a couple of shows she's done well and she's enjoyed it so we can actually look at her character, how she is with people, everything else, because that's not... Yep! There's deer up there, I'm calling her down. Oh. Come in, 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 good girl. She's not seen them. Oh, that's good. And it was instantaneous, and that's what you want. I don't know if you saw them on the camera, but that's what we're exploring with the dog. Uh, in, so I'm going to keep it closer in, because they are here. I'm starting to get to that stage where, as I say, it's not an off switch I have in, but it is a timer. So I'm keeping her close because I might, if, if they do pop up, I'm probably going to have to grab her. Good girl, good girl, good girl. But last week she would have been off. <laughs> as I say, this is where they are, the deer. Come here, Lola. Down, down, down. But she's paying more attention to me. And this is what it's all about. Lola, Lola. Good girl. Dolly. And she's got the centre of the top. So Good girl. Good 
go, 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 go. So I'm very happy with the progress and uh, everything else that's going with her. So we're walking up to where the deer disappeared from. Keep them low, look like, low, look, come here. So I probably have to put the lead on that, so I'm not ready. But I'm going to switch her off. Or <laughs> switch her off. Low, look! Take her up to a limit, not go past the limit. That's the idea. Low, look, come here. And you can see her body language. Low, look! Good girl. All right. Sorry. Pull her in. Roll up. Roll up. Okay. Really struggling with this, aren't we, baby? So the excitement that we can see is rising. So now she's on the lead. We're just walking through it. Good girl. Roll up in. Never repeat. Roll up. Good girl. Roll up in. Lola in. Well, she wants to go, because they're here, the deer. Lola in. So, as I say, what I've got at the moment is a dimming switch, a, a timer switch. That gives me the time to get hold of her. What I want is that on-off switch. We're not quite there. As you can see, if I let go, Dolly! Even Dolly's getting excited now. In now. That's you old hag. Come here, Dolly. Ah. So, what I'm going to do is just walk around this area for a little, just so that we get it all under control. There's a good girl, we're sitting down, there's a good girl. The old hag dolly, what are you doing? Ah, uh, so, ah, we want to go. Do dolly, 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 Lola, Lola. See, now, there's no way the interrupter is going to work here. But, we're moving away, and immediately as we're moving away, we can see it's all dying down, that excitement level. And that's what we're reading, excitement level in the dog. Still got a nose down. Go on, look. So we've taken her up to the limit, and that pushes. We haven't crossed the limit. Taking her up to the limit, she's getting used to being at that level without losing control. Therefore, what, we've done, what we're doing is pushing that threshold further away. It will take her longer to reach that limit. And the longer it takes her to reach that limit, the more control we have of the dog. It's as simple as that. Then her boundaries become bigger. So I'm going to let the dog off the lead now. Lola. Still excited. Lola, Lola, Lola. Good girl. There we go. So I'm letting off the lead. Moved away from the... And we're moving away now. Good girl, though. Lola! In. Good girl. And take things, get back things back into control. The excitement is there. Lola! And this is what we're working with, that excitement level. Just dropping it down now. Ah, if I get my hand in my pocket. Yeah, you get a treat in a minute. That's what we're working with, is just dropping that excitement level down now. Getting it back on balance, so that we can work with the dog. She's still excited. Right. You saw Dolly. Come on, Good girl. Bring her in. Bring her in. And that excitement level is dropping all the time. You can see it in the dog. Here we go, now we're looking. Yes. And we're getting back to a nice balance again. So we've taken her up to our limit. We haven't crossed it, because if we cross it, then we start from scratch. We, what we're doing is actually decreasing that threshold. We've pushed it to the limit. We haven't crossed it. We're still in control. So I put the lead on. And we move. And big breath, we're back in control. So, got Lola, she's disappearing again. And now she's actually turned around and she's coming back. She's looking 
And that's what's interesting is now she is paying far more attention to me where I am my positioning. And she's everything's a lot calmer, a lot slower. Boom. She's managing her excitement level herself. I'm not managing it for her. We've got a nice balance now, I think. And uh, we'll work on that even further over the next few months. So we've got a nice balance now. She's managing her excitement level herself rather than me having to manage it. When it starts getting too much, you can spot it a lot easier. That's the advantage of this. You can spot it, you can control it, you can bring the dog in and it becomes very safe and it's a very very different personality we are walking with and she's done it herself by being allowed uh, to hit that limit